maritime and shipping legislation and regulation. Domestic laws establishing the authorities of the Maritime and Shipping Court. The Indonesian Maritime Court or Mahkamah Pelayaran is regulated under Law Number no. 17 of 2008 regarding shipping, as amended by Law Number no. 11 of 2020 regarding job creation. The shipping law defined the Maritime Court as a panel of experts that is responsible to and under the Ministry of Transportation. The court has the authority to conduct follow-up investigation of shipping accident and to enforce a professional code of ethics and competence for shipmaster or officer after a preliminary examination by the harbour master. The Maritime Court also has the authority to examine collision between commercial ship and state ship, as well as state ship and warship. Nevertheless, the Maritime Court isn't considered as juridical court within the framework of Indonesia's legal system and at most is only able to issue administrative sanction. Moreover, both the Shipping Law and the Indonesian Commercial Code ICC provide the maritime claim may also be submitted to the Indonesian District Court. Common maritime claims include maritime casualties and collision, cargo claim and passenger claim. Port State Control Pursuant to Article 218 of the Shipping Law, a harbour master has the authority to conduct seaworthiness and safety inspection of the Indonesian flagged ship. Harbour master can also conduct this inspection of foreign flagged ship at Indonesian port. Among their powers, harbour master have the authority to inspect vessel and seek information for the purpose of gathering evidence in relation to marine casualties. Specifically, regarding Port State Control, Minister of Transportation MOT Regulation No. 119 of 2017 regarding foreign ship safety and safety check officers defined Port State Control as state supervision of the seaworthiness and safety of foreign ship entering ports to ensure the fulfillment of requirement implemented by Harbour Master. In general, port state control officers appointed by the harbour master have the power to detain and delay the departure of a ship when the ship's disobedience of the aforementioned requirement threaten the safety of the ship, human life and or the maritime environment. Indonesia's port state control system has been put in place in reverence to the Memorandum of Understanding on Port State Control in the Asia-Pacific region, to which Indonesia is a signatory and the Tokyo MOU is specifically mentioned within MOT. Port state control officers do not have any authority over marine casualties such as grounding, pollution or wreck removal. According to Government Regulation No. 30 of 2021, ship owners are responsible to manage grounding and wreck removal. However, if within 180 days since the collision the ship owner hasn't carried out the wreck removal, the removal must be carried out by the MOT and the expense of the owner of the wreck. If the position of the wreck and or its cargo is disrupting the operation of the port and or polluting the maritime environment, the harbour master may order the ship owner immediately to lift or get rid of the wreck and or its cargo. Additionally, as written in Section 3.1 of the Tokyo MOU, the authority of port state control officers in connection with pollution matters is limited to inspecting a ship master of crew and their witness to prevent pollution. Indonesia recently succeeded in fulfilling the right list criteria for the Tokyo MOU, which should help reinforce shipping safety and security in Indonesian waters. Domestic legislation applicable to ship registration Indonesia's shipping law provides that as Indonesian vessel legal status is only valid if the vessel has already been registered in a certain jurisdiction. Pursuant to MOT regulation No. PM 39 of 2017 regarding the registration and nationality of vessel, 
vessel registration include the registration of the following ownership right, granting of mortgage, and other proprietary right. The MOT has appointed the Director General of Sea Transportation to oversee this process. Requirement for ownership of vessel. In Indonesia, the operation or use of a vessel requires registration and licensing. The owner of a vessel can register the vessel in Indonesia with a vessel title transfer and registrar official appointed by the MOT. For a vessel to be registered, it must have a minimum of 7 gross tonnage GT and be owned by an Indonesian citizen or an Indonesian legal entity that is majority Indonesian owned Article 7 of MOT. Provide that the following document must be submitted to vessel registration. Proof of title on the vessel, identity of the vessel owner, taxpayer registration number, tonnage certificate, proof of payment for the transfer of title, and power of attorney. The vessel registration application is submitted online through the electronic vessel registration system, and within three working days, the vessel title transfer and registrar official will examine the application to ensure the completeness of the document. A minutes of vessel registration will be issued if the requirement described above have been satisfied. As stipulated by Article 11, the vessel owner will then receive a gross vessel registration deed. Temporary registration of vessel. MOT permit the temporary registration of vessel that are under construction in Indonesia or abroad. This temporary registration will be made in the form of a temporary registration certificate. The certificate will only be issued when construction of the whole main deck and the entire superstructure has been completed. Article 160 on the shipping law prohibit the dual registration of vessel. Registration of mortgage. Vessel mortgage in Indonesia fall under the authority and jurisdiction of the Ministry of Transportation. Pursuant to Articles 28 and 29 of MOT, the beneficiaries for special mortgage may be Indonesian or foreign citizen, banks and financing or non-financing institution. Vessel mortgage would only be granted following the submission of an application to a vessel registrar accompanied by the following document. Credit or loan agreement, original grosse of vessel registration deed or grosse deed of the vessel's title transfer and power of attorney in notarial deed form proxy. Thank you.